100 years ago, my great-grandfather worked on a farm. Then he got replaced by robots. My grandfather went on to work in a car factory in Detroit. He got replaced by robots. My father went on to become a McDonald's chef, but he too was replaced by robots. I didn't want to suffer the same fate, so I got into programming. They said coding is the new literacy, and everyone needs to learn Python. But then Copilot started writing a little bit of code. GPT-4 started writing a lot of code. But then yesterday, Devin burst onto the scene, an AI that takes over our tooling to write code in an infinite feedback loop. In today's video, we'll find out if this little named Devin is the final death blow for software engineering, or if it's yet another hyped up pile of garbage designed to milk what's left of the VC money in this latest AI hype cycle. It is March 13th, 2024, and you're watching The Code Report. The software engineers right now are absolutely terrified, begging the developers of Devin to stop what they're doing. Human software engineers over at Cognition Labs have developed a machine that they're calling the first AI software engineer. It has access to all the same developer tooling that you do, like a terminal, a browser, a code editor, and so on. And that means it can solve problems like a real software engineer by googling until you find a blog or stack overflow answer that you can copy and paste into your code. A product manager can give Devin some requirements and it will respond by creating a plan of action, then it goes to the web to get some API documentation, then it starts writing some code, then it runs it, it gets an error, it fixes its code, and continues doing this in an infinite loop until it solves the original problem. It's similar to tools like AutoGPT, where an LLM is the base technology, but you give it the ability to perform actions and then react to the feedback that you get from those actions. Actions. Devin is already smashing other tools on the software engineering benchmark, which is a test that determines if AI can solve real-world issues on GitHub. Generally speaking, AI sucks really hard at this benchmark. GPT-4 only gets the job done 1.74% of the time, while Devin is currently sitting at 13.86%. That's a huge improvement, but a tool that can only solve GitHub issues 13% of the time is not quite good enough to replace most software engineers today, although this number will likely improve in the future. Things are going to get really lit, though, when tools like this start doing everything in parallel, like Google's AlphaCoder, which currently beats 85% of competitive programmers, and it does that by using an LLM to generate thousands of possible solutions in parallel, then picks the best one. In the future, you'll be able to post a job just like you would on Upwork, and 10 minutes later, Devin will come back with a thousand different apps, and you can choose the best one. In fact, Devin is already doing real jobs on Upwork and getting paid for it, so I guess that makes it official, they took our jobs. Devin can learn new technologies, it can build and deploy apps, it can fix bugs in existing code bases, train its own AI models, train its own AI models, train its own AI models, and do all kinds of other stuff. Pretty impressive, and the company itself is backed by Peter Thiel's Founders Fund, along with the Collison brothers from Stripe, and a bunch of other heavy hitters from Silicon Valley. And Cognition is not the only stealth startup in this game. There's also Magic.dev, which has been funded with over 100 million, and has a shared investor of Elad Gill, who's also made investments into Mistral and Perplexity AI. It's naive to think that Silicon Valley doesn't want to replace programmers. They absolutely do, and whoever does it first is going to make a ton of money. But there's really no point in being a doomer. For one, there's a very high probability that this technology will be like self-driving cars or 3D printing, which promise to revolutionize the world, but in the grand scheme of things never delivered on those promises. Currently, the only thing that Devin can do is bang out crappy little demos, and anyone that's used AI tools over the last year know that they're extremely useful for simple problems, but as soon as you get into more complex problems, they become counterproductive and end up hurting your code more than helping it. However, there's a lot of smart people who think that problem will be solved, like Jensen Wong recently made this bombshell statement. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program. Everybody in the world is now a programmer. This is the miracle of artificial intelligence. But even if Devin succeeds and coding becomes an archaic skill, there is a solution to that depressing outcome. And that, of course, is the once daily pill I'm working on with Pfizer. It's a dimethyltryptamine based gene therapy that rewires your brain for optimal coding performance. Common side effects may include headache, diarrhea, geometric hallucinations, ego death, and physical death. So don't let the robots take your job. Ask your doctor if getting fire shit pilled is right for you. This has been the Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.